Well, good morning, and um, I hope that you guys are doing well and uh, that you're enjoying your summer, and um, hopefully we uh, will see each other very soon. And I want you to know I've been praying for you and uh, your family, and um, and uh, I love you so much. So uh, I miss you, miss you, miss you so much, but um, hopefully we'll get to see each other soon. And um Maybe it won't be too much longer. <clears throat> so um, our uh, Sunday school lesson uh, this morning comes out of the Bible passage of uh, the book of Luke, chapter uh, 17. So grab your Bibles, and um, after our lesson, uh, read that, or read that with your parents, however you want to do it. But I want to make sure that um, you read our story out of your Bible and also read your Bible every single day. But um, uh, the book of Luke, chapter 17, I won't tell you um, uh, our, our session title, our story title yet, because there's uh, something I want you to listen for in our Bible story video. But I'll tell you the first part. It's Jesus healed a certain number of men, and I want you to listen to how many uh, that he healed. But um, if you remember... Uh, and we started our Gospel Project Sunday School uh, session in uh, looking back at our, our timeline. We started with Genesis. And in the very beginning, God created everything, and everything was perfect. And um, part of God's perfect creation uh, was man, Adam, and a woman named Eve. And um, very sadly, um, <clears throat> they chose to disobey God. And ever since then, the world has been broken by sin. And thankfully, God had a perfect plan uh, to fix that uh, sin. And God sent Jesus uh, to fix our, our brokenness and sin. So when Jesus was grown, we've talked about that in several of our lessons, he began his ministry. And um, he traveled um, around healing and doing miracles and teaching people about God. And um, so for the next few weeks, we're going to be looking um, at how the wonderful ways that Jesus healed people. Um, so today's lesson, as I said earlier, Jesus healed some men. And I want you to pay attention to the Bible story video on how many that there were. So uh, we'll take a quick look at our Bible story video. Jesus was on his way to Jerusalem when he entered a village. Ten men cried out to him, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. The men did not come close to Jesus because they had a skin disease called leprosy. Jesus saw them and said, Go and show yourselves to the priest. Jesus wanted the men to follow the law God had given to Moses. The law said, a person who had a skin disease had to go to a priest to be examined when the disease was gone. The priest and the person had to follow certain rules so the person could live a normal life among people again. As they went, the ten men were miraculously healed. One of the men, seeing that he was healed, went back to Jesus. He praised God and fell face down at Jesus' feet, thanking him over and over. This man was a Samaritan. Jesus asked the man, weren't 10 men cleansed? Where are the others? Only this man, a foreigner, had returned to give thanks and praise to God. Jesus told him, get up and go on your way. Your faith has saved you. Jesus healed the 10 men who cried out to him. The one who had faith was saved. When we trust in Jesus by faith, he heals us from something greater than a disease. He saves us from our sins. We can give him thanks and worship him for making us new. All right. So uh, did you catch how many there were? How many men uh, there were? There were 10. There were 10 uh, that Jesus had. Healed, and he was on his way uh, to Jerusalem, and he entered into a village, and um, uh, ten men cried out to him, "Jesus, Master, have mercy on us!" 
And um, the, the men didn't come close to Jesus because they had a skin disease. And if you remember it from our video, it's called leprosy. And um, the law said that a person uh, who had a skin disease had to go to the priest uh, to be examined uh, when, when their disease was over with. And um, so um, as they went, the ten men were miraculously healed by Jesus. He healed them. And um, so, th but there was one man uh, that was thankful to Jesus, and he uh, praised God and fell at Jesus' feet, thanking him over and over and over for healing him. And uh, this man wasn't a Jew. Uh, he was a Samaritan, and we talked about the Samaritan woman um, last week, and we learned that um, the Jews didn't have anything to do with the Samaritans, but this man was a Samaritan, and um, but Jesus told him, he kept thanking him, thanking Jesus, and um, over and over, and Jesus told him, if you remember, get up and go on your way. Your faith has saved you, and um, so uh, what, how, how great that was uh, for that man. Um, the man's response uh, to Jesus uh, showed understanding of God's mercy and um, his goodness to him. And um, uh, just like this, this man, he was healed physically, he was healed spiritually. The uh, Bible tells us that we have all sinned, and um, our sin makes us unclean. Uh, it, it is brokenness, it, is, it breaks us, it, it, it separates our relationship with God. Um, but we can cry out to God, uh, just like the man with leprosy and um, the, the gospel is, uh, welcomes everyone who turns from sin and um, trusts trust in Jesus as their Savior. All right? And um, it's just, I love how it talks about how this man was healed physically but spiritually most of all. And that's what we need um, more than anything is to know Christ. And uh, he saves us from our sins. All right? So... Um, uh, let's see. We'll go ahead and do our big picture question and take a quick look at that. We've got a new um, quarter starting uh, June, July, and August. And um, this month of June, uh, our session is titled Jesus the Healer. And we're going to be seeing that and um, how Jesus healed. But our new big picture question is, why did God create people? Why did God create people? And um you know, worshiping God is what uh, we are made uh, to do. We are made to know Him, to love Him, to serve Him, to worship Him. And um, we cannot experience the best that God um, has to offer unless we know Him. And we are worshiping Him and living for Him. So He wants us to know Him. So we'll take a look at our answer. Why did God create people? God created people to worship him and love him and show his glory. And um, my goodness, how God loves us so much. And I'm thankful for that love that we have. And when I mean, we talked about John 3.16, our key passage um, for the last month that we had, and the gift of salvation, it is for everyone who has faith in, uh, in Jesus Christ. And um, we don't have to earn it. Uh, by doing good deeds um, or worshiping God. When God saves us uh, by grace through faith, our hearts are changed, we are transformed, and we become people that want to love and worship God. And He changes that in us and makes us brand new. I'm thankful for that, uh, that He does that for us. Um, our story point today, we talked about how many men that Jesus healed. And it's Jesus healed 10 men and one was saved. And um, thinking back on our story, uh, Jesus healed 10 of them. And by faith, one of them was saved. But the other nine, he didn't take away their healing because they weren't thankful uh, that, you know, Jesus loves us in um he loves us so much. So he didn't take away their healing, even though they may have not said thanks or anything like that. But um, he did make it known that one uh, that was so thankful to him, because of his faith, he was saved from his sin. 
And um, so we have a new key passage, and it's a long one, and it's got some big words in it. So uh, you'll probably need to get your Bible and out and look this up and just keep reading it. I know this week, just getting ready for y your lesson, um, I kept looking over it, and I'd, I've read it every day. I've tried to get that in my brain <laughs> and uh, try to just try to memorize it, but it's got some tough words in it, some big words, but um, if you want to memorize it, you please do that, but um, if not, just read it every single day. I know I've had to to kind of get it in my mind, but it's Isaiah 53, 4 through 5. Yet he himself bore our sicknesses, and he carried our pains, but we in turn regarded him stricken struck down by God and afflicted. But he was pierced because of our rebellion, crushed because of our iniquities. Punishment for our peace was on him, and we are healed by his wounds. Isaiah 53, 4 through 5. And um, this, this key passage just reminds us that what Jesus did for us, um, he died on the cross uh, for every sin that you and I um, have ever done, will ever do, and um, he went through a, a lot of pain for you and me. Um, what love, how much love that he showed us uh, through that. Um, our key passage uh, teaches us that long before Jesus came to earth as a human, prophets spoke about him. This is in the Old Testament, so it was already being prophesied of who the Messiah was coming and who was coming, that Jesus would uh, rescue us of our sin. And it talks about how Jesus is our healer, physically and spiritually, for our hearts and for our lives. And uh, when Jesus was on earth healing people, uh, he was proven that he was the Messiah. And you remember John the Baptist, he made that way uh, for Jesus to, to, and told others who the Messiah is. Uh, when Jesus died on the cross, he did the most important healing uh, for us. He made a way for us to be saved from sin and healed and rescue um, from the damage that sin causes in our life. All right, new key passage there in Isaiah. All right, um, our Bible story picture. I've got a new, another picture this week. All right, uh, and there's Jesus and... Um, I'm positive that this man is the one that was saved from his sins and um, that Jesus told him to get up, that your faith has, has saved you. Uh, and you can see the other ones. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, there's nine over there in the corner. Um, and they are happy, happy uh, that they have been healed. And Jesus did that. And only Christ can do that. Only he can do that. And then the man in front of him that was saved from his sin. All right. So Jesus healed the ten men who cried out to him. Uh, the one that had faith was saved. When we trust in Jesus by faith, he heals us from something greater uh, than a disease. He saves us from our sins. And we can give him thanks and worship him for making us brand new. And only Jesus can do that for us. All right. And hey, if you um, have any questions about um, becoming a Christian and to follow Jesus as your Savior, uh, talk to your parents. Uh, you have your parents call me here at the church, and I'll be glad to visit with you. Uh, our brother Don would be uh, glad to visit with you. But um, I want you to know I am praying for your spiritual health that you come to know Jesus as your Savior. It is the very best uh, for your life. It is the very best for me. It is the very best for everyone in the world. And uh, we must know him. He wants us to know him. Hey, I love you so much. I hope you have a great summer day today.